There are different ways to solve a quadratic equation like this, but the easiest way, if it works, is to factor. So I want to look at multiples, things that are multiplied together that give me 6, but add up to 5. So 6 is divisible by 1 times 6, or by 2 times 3. 1 plus 6 is 7. 2 plus 3, though, is equal to 5, which is this number. So those are going to be um, factors that I can use as I rewrite this as a product of binomials. So, th so this original trinomial is going to be equal to x plus 2, the 2 coming from here, times x plus 3, 3 of course coming from here. Reason being, um, if I were to FOIL these together, the last term in the FOIL is 2 times 3, which is the 6 that I got, uh, that I started with up here. And the middle terms, the 2 times x and 3 times x, add up to the 5x that I have here. So this trinomial is equal to this product of binomials. Now we have something called the zero product property, which tells us that if either thing is zero, if this is zero, or if this is zero, the whole thing is zero. If you multiply zero by anything, the whole thing is just zero. So therefore, I want to know when the first binomial is zero. And it will be zero if x is equal to negative 2, because negative 2 plus 2 is zero. And the second one, underlined in red, will be 0 if x is equal to negative 3. So those are my two possible solutions to my original equation. So I believe I have my solutions. Let me just do a quick check to confirm that it does work. If I were to put negative 2 into here, um, negative, I would get negative 2 squared, which is 4, Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, plus negative 10, plus 6, and I want to know if that's equal to 0. Well, 4 plus negative 10 is negative 6, and yes, negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. So this first solution checks out. And the other one, negative 3 times negative 3 is negative, I'm sorry, is a positive 9. So you get positive 9 plus negative 15 plus 6. Is that equal to 0? Well, uh, 9 plus negative 15, again, is negative 6. And negative 6 plus this, 6, is equal to 0. So the negative 3 solution works as well. Either of those two numbers if I put them into the original equation, is going to give me zero. Remember, I factored, I rewrote this as binomial times binomial, and then I used the zero product property to see the values which would make either the first binomial zero or the second one zero. Thank you.